Welcome back to, Now You Know, the playground for your mind, body and soul. In this video we will provide you with helpful insights into the world of trading. You will gain a basic understanding of the terms frequently used while executing trades, and also the type of strategies used most often in the financial markets to execute a trade. Expect content that will ensure to build a solid foundation for you to build your trading knowledge and strategies. Regardless of your level of trading experience that you may have, everyone can gain a better understanding and appreciation on what it takes to become a trader. Trading. A term you've heard, but what does it really mean? Let's break it down. At its core, trading is the act of buying and selling goods or services. In financial terms, these goods and services are often referred to as assets, and can include a wide variety of items. Let's start with stocks. These are shares of a company that you can buy or sell. Next, we have bonds. These are essentially loans you give to a company or a government, and in return, they pay you interest. Then there's Forex, short for foreign exchange where you trade one currency for another. Commodities refer to physical goods like oil, gold, or wheat. And lastly, indices are a group of stocks that represent a particular market or sector. So, whether it's stocks, bonds, Forex, commodities, or indices, trading is all about buying low and selling high. Understanding these key concepts is the first step towards successful trading. Now, it is time to learn some key basic concepts that will help you become a better trader. Asset. Anything of value that is owned or controlled with the expectation that it will provide future benefit. Examples include stocks, bonds, commodities and currencies. Bid and ask prices. The bid price is the highest price a buyer is willing to pay for a security, while the ask price is the lowest price a seller is willing to accept. The difference between the two is known as the spread, bull and bear markets. A bull market is characterized by rising prices, while a bear market is characterized by falling prices. These terms are often used to describe the overall market trends. Broker, a person or firm that facilitates the buying and selling of financial instruments on behalf of investors. Brokers may charge commissions or fees for their services. Day trading, buying and selling financial instruments within the same trading day, with all positions closed before the market closes. Dividend, a payment made by a company to its shareholders, usually in the form of cash or additional shares, representing a portion of the company's profits. Exchange, a marketplace where financial instruments are bought and sold. Examples include the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and the NASDAQ. Leverage, the use of borrowed funds to increase the size of a trading position beyond what would be possible with one's own capital. It amplifies both potential gains and losses. Margin, the amount of money or securities that must be deposited by a trader with a broker to cover some or all of the potential losses from an open trade. Market order, an order to buy or sell a security at the best available price in the market. Options, financial derivatives that give the holder the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price within a specified time frame. Portfolio, a collection of financial assets such as stocks, bonds and other investments held by an individual or institution. Short selling, selling a security that the seller does not own, with the intention of buying it back later at a lower price. Stop loss order, an order placed with a broker to buy or sell a security once it reaches a certain price, limiting the investor's loss. Volatility, a measure of the price fluctuations of a financial instrument over time. High volatility indicates larger price swings. Yield, the income return on an investment, usually expressed as a percentage of the investment's cost or current value. These are just a few examples and the world of trading has many more terms and concepts. It's important for traders and investors to familiarize themselves with these terms to navigate the markets effectively. Now that you're familiar with the basics, let's delve into the world of trading strategies. These are like the tools in your investment toolbox, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. First up is day trading, which involves buying and selling securities within a single market day. It's like a high-speed chase, exciting but requires immense focus and quick decision-making. However, the potential for quick profits can be enticing. Second, we have swing trading. This strategy involves holding positions for several days to weeks. It's less frantic than day trading, providing more time for analysis and decision-making, yet it's still relatively short-term. Lastly, there's long-term investing. This is the marathon runner of trading strategies. It involves holding onto securities for years, even decades, banking on the long-term growth of companies and markets. It's less stressful, but requires patience and a long-term financial vision. Remember, 
the best strategy is the one that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Trading is not just about the potential for profit, it's also about understanding and managing risk. The allure of trading is strong, with tales of overnight millionaires. But let's not forget the other side of the coin. Even professional traders, armed with years of experience and sophisticated tools, have a success rate hovering around 50%. For the average person, the risks are even higher. It's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. Remember, informed trading is smart trading. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of trading with us. Over the last few minutes, we've dived into the diverse universe of trading, from the fundamental concepts to the various strategies employed by professionals. We've also shed light on the stark reality of risk and reward in trading, underscoring the importance of informed decision-making. We've established that trading is not merely a game of chance. It's a calculated venture that requires an understanding of market dynamics, a robust strategy, and a healthy respect for the potential risks involved. Remember, the road to trading success is paved with continuous learning and prudent decision-making. In the world of trading, knowledge truly is power. The more informed you are, the better positioned you are to navigate the complex, ever-changing financial markets. So continue to educate yourself, stay informed, and make educated decisions based on a solid understanding of the trading principles discussed in this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Bye for now and take good care. And now you know.